Hello, so this is a video for Programming Challenge 516 uh, Dice Simulator. And what I did was get two dice. So the first thing I did is make the form, right? So I put a progress bar on the bottom and I changed the name of the progress bar to PRG progress bar. I'm not sure if you can probably see that. So yeah, PRG progress bar. Then I put two picture boxes, one of the dice for pick dice one and one for pick dice two here. And I changed the name of the form to F what whoop. There we go. Okay. That. And then I called it dice roll. So in the picture box, what you want to do, at least from what I saw, is go to project, go down to properties of your project, and then you can copy. So up here in that, so you got to change this from, because usually it starts out as string. So you change that to images first here. And then you go to add resource and then you click on add existing file and you go down to wherever you saved your, um, well, you can, you can navigate over to your student resources file for the, the class and you just copy all of these, the six dice from here and then click open. And what will end up happening is you'll get all six of the, your dice in this in the resources so after after you do that you can close that and you can save your project and then so now you got your two picture boxes and now put put your buttons on here so that's my exit button and it's the roll dice button so in the roll dice button the 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 first thing the only thing i really did oh that's a, one other thing you gotta do so you got to go back, put a click on timer and just put it anywhere on here. So you have a timer down here and then click in here and change the name to TRM or TMR timer. And so you got, you got your roll dice here. So that just the only piece of code you need in that is to set your timer to start. So that's, that's what your button does. It sets the timer to start. So what we did is after, after the, the, the timer starts now, click double click on here on your timer and that'll get when your timer starts. So first you want to declare some variables for your dice and I made them global variables so we could use them not only in here but you can in here but you can use them in here too so anyway that that anything down below here is can these variables can be used so i then i also made a random number a random number generator a random variable i should say and if we go back to our timer so the first thing you do is you set your random variable to new random and then you show your progress bar for in the increments of five seconds, or it's not five seconds. It's like, I don't know if that's it's milliseconds or something, but that that's a pretty good rate right there at five. Anything more than that, it seems like it's slow. Anything less than that, it seems like it's too fast. And then you do your first if statement and you use your progress bar value. And 100 is the end of the progress bar. So that's when the progress bars ran out of time. So the first thing you want to do if that runs out of time is to stop your timer. And then you to, and then after you stop the timer, you reset your progress bar. And if that's so while it's going, so before that happens and it's going, then you get, set your dice one, set random next, and then you go from one to seven because it starts count well it starts at one 
and then it, you have to figure out so one is zero so one to seven that's why you end up with one to seven that's six numbers so one is zero the actual number one would be zero so one would one to seven so that would be one through seven and dice two you do the same thing then you got to set up your roll for the two dice and your roll for dice one so you just do simple if statements here if dice one equals one then then you change your picture box and then you change the image in your picture box and then you send it send So then you go to your resources folder where you saved your dice before your images of your dice that you saved over to your resources folder. And you do that for each number for one to six. So you got if dice equals one, then pick image equals my resources, my dot resources dot dice one, die one, else if equals two, then resources equals dice two, three, four, else if five, else if six, and then that's the end of it. So that's, that's your role for your first dice. Then you do the same for your second dice and you change your variable here to dice two from here. And then that's equals one. Then you go, you pick for dice two. That's your picture box, your second picture box. And then your image. And then you're using the same image with dice one, dice two, dice three. It's your picture box image two. Dice two equals three there. Dice two equals four, image equals four. Dice two equals five, image equals, you. and this is all going into from your resources folder. Dice six, and you have your close button on your application. So let's go ahead and run that and see how that works. So here's our form. We roll the dice, there we go. Got our progress bar, and we got there. Roll them again. Roll them again. Looks pretty good. Cool. Thanks for watching. I hope that helps. All right, bye. <laughs>